Hey guys, it's uh, Dominic here, and uh, I actually went out yesterday. Uh, well, today we will be herping, or in the general area, around my house and street. Um, the other day I actually went out and had a very successful day, so I figured today I'd start off with the first snake of the day, which is this nice sized black racer. Uh, and uh, this is actually the first one I've seen this year, so... Uh, let's see if I can grab this guy while filming. That'll be a first. Maybe able to actually get close. Get up right next to him. But I think by now he knows I've noticed his presence. Might just let me grab him right now. Yeah. All right. Uh, there we go. He is not happy that I have caught him. But, uh... Yeah, so uh, first black racer of the year, uh, and I'm going to take some photographs of this guy and uh, let him go. Oh, wow. Uh, we're here with one of the next trips of the day. I mean, we've seen a few brown skinks, but uh, this one's a notable one. So a little green and knoll in shed. Getting, uh, putting on its new colors for the, uh... oh, well, there he goes. Wanted to get a picture of that, but it's fine. And, you know, well, herps are out, snakes are out. Let's hope we find some more. Uh, we're in front of mention that woods habitat, so I decided to walk to a nearby stream. We're just gonna walk up and down this one. I'll probably end up out on the road, and we'll see if we can find anything in the ditches lining the sides. Uh, but yeah. Wish me luck. Next trip of the day. Don't know if you can see it down there, but I certainly can. That little circular thing is, uh, what I believe to be an eastern musk turtle. I can pick him up to where we can get a better look at him, but, uh, it's actually been the time since I've seen one of these, or if I did, it just didn't pay any attention to mine. That might actually be a Mississippi mud turtle, if I am not mistaken. Here. Oh, I've caught this guy before. I recognize his uh, face markings. That may actually be a Mississippi mud turtle. Hmm, I don't know. I'll have to look at it when I get home. But I'm pretty sure this is an eastern musk turtle. All right, I'm gonna get a photo or two of this guy, uh, throw him back in, and uh, we're gonna keep moving. It's the next trip of the day. I think you can see him down there, a little red slider. He doesn't seem to be that bothered by my presence, either that or he hasn't noticed me yet. But uh, I'm gonna try to get a few photos of this guy in C2, and uh, yeah. Not a herp, but uh, we have ducks, which is interesting. Don't know if this is uh, well, well bearing for our uh, herping because they tend to make a mess, as you can see them doing right now. Maybe if I can catch up to them and get in front of them, or no, they're just gonna. Yeah. All right. So we saved that stretch. Which is good. And I think I just heard something up there. I'll be right back. But a diamondback water snake just jumped into the water up here. And it wasn't one that I caught yesterday, but I do think I've caught this guy before. And I'm about to grab him. Y'all are gonna love this. Oh, not happy. Ooh, somebody is angry. Yeah, I've caught this guy before. Caught him right up here, and I released him a bit over there. It looks like he may have slithered back up here. This is around where I caught him. So I'm pretty sure I caught this guy before. I could be wrong, but he looks very similar. I can compare pictures later to make sure. Um, either way, though, I caught him a while ago, and it was the first snake of the year. So it's nice to see he's doing happy and well if this is the same guy. And if not, uh, welcome to the Creek Man. Hope you enjoy it. Uh, this guy's got a little scar bump thing on his nose but that's not gonna hurt him in pictures at all so uh i think i'm gonna stop this clip right here and uh take a few photos and we'll continue on our search see if we can find oh there we go see if we find anything else guys i just stumbled upon our next snake of the day only problem is i didn't see it and now it's in this pile of leaves 
So we're gonna hope he doesn't escape down any type of hole before I can pull him out of here. You may be wondering why I'm lying on the ground in a hole under some twigs. Well, a giant black racer just went up in there and I'm not gonna be able to get him out. It's all right though. I think that's the uh, second racer I've seen today, unless that thing that went into a hole earlier was also a racer, but I think it may have been a rat snake. Um, well, snakes are out. <laughs> I'm just not that great at catching them when it comes to them being in holes. All right, I'll update y'all if I have anything else. And we've come upon our next herp of the day. Just another look of this beast of what I believe may be a river cooter. We're gonna see in just a second if it has uh, your standard red ears, if it's a red-eared slider. See, the only thing is this pattern on its shell is throwing me off a bit. There's a nice sized leech on its back. That's not a slider, that's an eastern, I believe, a river cooter. And it is giant, just look at that. It's a ginormous turtle. I'm gonna let this girl go. I think only females get that big. But look at that. Back again, and I just caught this gorgeous little plain-bellied water snake. They grow up to not have this pattern very much at all. But this is what they look like as babies, and may I just say, he's a gorgeous little fella. I'm gonna photograph this guy and let him go, and I'll see y'all in a bit. All right, we just got this guy. Common banded water snake. If you look, he's a... Uh, she, I believe, actually, is not very happy. Now, despite their name, common banded water snakes, at least around here, are way less common than the, uh, the broad banded water snakes. You can see she uh, tagged me once right there and it's probably going to tag me again. So I'd like to point out, while I'm holding her by her tail, tailing a snake is a great way to get it pissed off at you. But, a way to get it a whole lot less pissed off at you is if you look right here, if it'll ever focus, sorry my hands are shaking, because this was a very quick catch, I'm holding it below the cloaca instead of behind the cloaca. Because behind the cloaca is just their tail. And we don't want to hold just their tail, because that's very uncomfortable for the snake. So, if I'm holding it at and further down in front of the cloaca, it's a lot more comfortable for the snake. Alright, I'm going to go take some pictures of this girl, let her go. So this is the second common banded water snake I've ever caught. So yeah, not very common. <laughs> Alright, I'll see y'all guys in a bit. Helpful tip for the younger herpers, uh, when in the field, do be careful, because I just sunk my uh, leg into that giant pit of clay right there without thinking. Scooter. Alright, well, uh, that was a very interesting turn of events. I saw a soft shell turtle down in the stream, so I went to go net it, and then I saw this giant diamondback water snake. And so I ran up, grabbed it, and climbed up the side of the stream. It struck me in the side of the face, which I am going to get the best the best talking to later for <laughs> um but uh now i have this giant diamond back and who knows maybe we'll find the soft shell turtle later but uh it was an interesting choice i've never caught a soft shell turtle in the wild so it would have been a lifer for me technically but then again there's this awesome dude who is like ginormous so i think i made the right choice maybe maybe not uh my face is bleeding so that's fun i'm gonna photograph this guy and then i'll get back to y'all maybe i'll find that soft shell turtle Guys, I'm back with another snake. It's a little diamondback water snake. There was actually another one right up here that slithered under that waterfall, but I'm not going under there. And so we're, we got this guy. Uh, it's a pretty nice one. He's a bit in shed, but uh, still gonna get a few photos. Yeah. Look at that. I don't know if you can see him because he's in the shadow, but it's a little red-eared slider right there. All right, checking in a bit. This little plain-bellied water snake. You can almost still see his pattern because he's so young, but uh, yeah, this is a nice looking fellow. We're gonna take some pictures up on that patch of moss and I'm gonna let him go. I think that's all we're gonna do for the day. I just got home and uh, I, I say that's pretty much a success.